Google has recently launched its internship program that if you're a college student currently studying in third year or final year and looking out for an internship opportunity at Google in summer or winter, then this video is for you because we are going to discuss about how can you prepare for such an internship, what is generally asked in different different rounds, how can you prepare, what all resources you can follow and we'll also share some previous year interview experiences of people who have cracked such a role. So it's going to be a great informative video. Make sure you do subscribe to this channel if you're new and also like this video if you find this informational. So without any further ado, let's get started to understand the process of getting this internship. We're talking about Google internship program. There are two internships that they're currently offering. That is Google software engineering internship as well as Google winter internship. Generally they have for summer also as well as for winter also. For summer, it's a two months internship generally ranging from May to July and winter, it's a six months internship ranging from January to July. So the applications for winter internship are currently open. You can go and check them out also. One is, so in this particular video, we're going to discuss about when do they hire. We'll talk about some timelines. We'll talk about the eligibility criteria, who is eligible for which kind of internship. We'll talk about the number of rounds, importance of these rounds. What are the kind of interview questions Google generally ask and how many number of interview rounds are there. We'll also talk about tips of cracking such roles, right? So these are some of the things that we're going to discuss in this particular video. First of all, people are generally confused between what is an application engineer and who is a software engineer. So application engineer, basically it's he or she is an engineer who assists software engineers to become more efficient as well as more productive. Secondly, they help build a lot of internal tools that can make processes more efficient efficient you built it like you built on custom tech stack based upon google tech stack for example you built some tools and technology over and above google tech stack so this is what an application role uh, looks like application engineering role looks like whereas for a software engineering internship you basically work on a lot of google products you can be in different different teams like google pay like google uh, cloud or google storage or anything so these are some of the teams that you can uh, work on when you are in google so You'll be working upon different different frameworks like Android backend, full stack, or uh, front end, etc. So these are two roles, two different uh, divisions, or two different categorizations of role like application engineering and software engineering role. What is the process for application engineering role? If you're applying for application engineering role, you are generally there are no online assessments for Google roles. But if the application numbers increases to some point of time, they can come up with a uh, number of online assessments. They had conducted this before as a Google online challenge or something like a test on hackers with three questions and you need to attempt it in 90 minutes, 30 minutes per question. So something of that sort can happen, but it would only depends upon if the number of applications are very, very large. After this telephonic round, you will have round one in which majorly it would be a DSA based round. You'll be asked one to two DSA problems and you need to give the approach as well as the written coding solution so that it passes all the test cases. So for that, the interviewer can ask you counter questions based upon the approach you tell him. He or she needs the most efficient approach, but you need to follow a certain procedure. Plus you need to give a clean writable code that is most efficient. So that's the first round. Once you clear that first round, then you move on to the next round. That is an application design round. This is generally different from a normal software engineering round in which you need to have an understanding of LLD or HLD, basic concepts of LLD or HLD. If you're very, very comfortable with object oriented programming concepts and you can design a system, then also it's suitable. This will basically test your OOPS concepts, solid principles or design patterns. So basic design pattern, I'm not saying uh, each and everything, but yeah, you should be clear with the fundamentals of design patterns and how you would design a system if you are given a system design problem. So these are the major rounds for uh, application engineering in turn when it comes to software engineering internship, right? How it is different. It is more of uh, completely based upon your problem solving skills. The entire focus is on data structure algorithms. Two to three rounds you'll be having based upon how well you perform. Again, here also on online assessments are not there. First round would be a telephonic round in which the recruiter can ask you about your past experiences, your lead code profile, lead code journey, your projects, your resume, and then you move on to the next rounds where you will be asked again DSA, Two rounds, TSA based one to two questions or three questions in some cases, you need to solve in a stipulated amount of time. As now we are already talking about Google SW internships, now let us understand how we can learn these relevant skills. And Gen AI has been trending throughout. And what if I tell you companies like Google, Microsoft, IBM, Meta are teaching you these relevant skills like data science, data analytics, and much more on Coursera. I personally like the IBM's Gen AI software engineering specialization. That's a short course for one month with 10 hours per week. In this particular course you get to learn about real world gen ai use cases as well as tools and techniques to generate test cases and code snippets plus you also develop innovative solutions using ai powered tools as well as llms you can also get a chance to receive a career certificate 
from IBM as well as Coursera that you can add to your LinkedIn or your resume. But wait, there's Coursera Plus which involves this and multiple other courses by tech giants is available at 30% off and you get to learn these in-demand skills like UX design, data analytics, data science and many more. If you were interested in something like this, make sure you check out the description and now let's move on to the video. So now we go in detail that if, uh, if somebody is looking forward to an intern at Google, so how many rounds in the process are in the online test? Hua tha, online test mein, like kya kya cheeze puchi jati hain is it more of uh, problem solving ya fir kuch aur bhi extra pucha jata hai fir uske baad like i want you to talk about your interview rounds kitne interview rounds se un interview rounds mein kya kya stress kiya gaya kya kya cheeze thi jo zyada focus ki gayi so in my uh, in my case there was no oa uh, there was just direct interview so interview rounds mein to pehla interview round dono interview rounds uh, dsa based hi the so pehle interview rounds mein uh, graph or math based question tha. and second interview round mein, uh, graph and advanced graph Achha, matlab, mostly advanced graph if you would rate these questions on the basis of difficulty level of lead code easy medium hard kis level ke questions the? Uh, the first one was uh, medium and the second one I rate hard Okay. And in the entire process, mein, is it like that you have to write the code or the approach? Hai? Matlab, what exactly do they look forward to in a candidate? Yeah, so first of all, they ask the basic question, uh, hai ki, ye hai. then they uh, write the code, they follow up, they have one or two follow ups, they also have to write the code. How much the total duration of the rounds? The total duration of the 45 minutes. 45 minutes, I mean, you have to cover two questions. अच्छा उसके बाद ये दो राउंड्स हुए तुम्हारे प्योरली बेस्ड अपॉन डेटा स्ट्रक्चरल एल्गोरिथम्स तुम्हारी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स को टेस्ट किया गया उसके बाद कुछ और राउंड्स भी थे क्या डायरेक्टली ऑफर मिल गया डायरेक्ट ऑफर अच्छा मतलब दो राउंड्स थे दो टेक्निकल इंटरव्यूज हुए टोटली बेस्ड अपॉन डेटा स्ट्रक्चरल एल्गोरिथम्स तो इससे पता चलता है कि कितना ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है डेटा स्ट्रक्चरल एल्गोरिथम्स और प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनीज लाइक गूगल तो दैट वाज दैट वाज प्रीटी ऑसम मतलब अगर किसी के प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स अच्छे हैं तो ही कैन क्रैक Big companies, product based companies like Google. Is kebab, Mother Akshat, your preparation strategy, whether Tumnej preparation karna start kiata, whether concierge se start kiata, kaha kaha se padata, con con se resources follow kiate, so, so that yeah. our audience could get to know ki uh, they can also use those resources. Yeah, so I started uh, learning more things about programming from my first year itself, and I uh, uh, specifically kisi company ke prepare nahi karata like Google. Uh, to coach chef long challenges deta tha start mein uske baad dheere dheere wahan se cheeze seekhna start kiya then code forces pe shift kiya uh, css uh, problem set usse maine kafi sari cheeze seekhi hai css ki ek book hai uh, it's called uh, handbook for competitive programming so us book se kafi help mili hai to yahi aur geeks for geeks pe articles code forces ke purane articles ye sare kafi helpful rahe hain acha so majorly yahi se prepare kiya now after that, now after that, as he mentioned, there are so many things. Major focus was on problem solving. So if you are a beginner and you're looking out to prepare for such a, a contest or such an event or such a company, then there is something known as Earth's DSA sheet. I'll link this sheet in the description below. There are 280 questions and you need to solve these 280 questions. Fix a timeline that you need to solve these questions in th uh, three months or uh, four months or two months based upon your capacity. And these are the problems that can help build a foundation or fundamentals of your programming journey. If you're revising, if you've already done with everything and you need to revise, these are some of the questions that can be uh, taken into consideration so that you can revise. But make sure that in Google's online assessment, you don't get exact same question. It would be a modification of the questions that you will do in this particular sheet. So if you are comfortable with this sheet, you know each and every concept, then there are high, high chances that you can clear that interview round as well. So make sure you do this also. I'll link uh, in the description. Apart from that, I'll link some resources that Google recruiters send out to people on email for example for something like system design or something like CS fundamentals or data structure algorithms so I'll share those sources also in the description below so make sure you do check them out as well